good morning guys welcome to monday welcome to a glorious hot beautiful summer day it is 8 a.m and everyone is sleeping but me me and the dogs and my pony all of our ponies I was at work which means that i'm doing chores usually the girls help me but honestly you guys have no idea how crazy this week was this weekend was it was so insane like there was no sleeping come on daisy oh there was no sleeping there was no resting there was no like it was just running clearly there was sleeping for this girl who has shavings everywhere man she's such an amazing horse such an amazing horse. back it up sister there you go one more Hold on. Oh, she almost <laughs> pulled the bowl in there. So this morning I left them sleeping and I was like, you know, if, they can, if Sam can do the horses by himself, I can do the horses by myself and I'm gonna try because I want the girls to sleep. Even though they're good and they behave, life is so much better for me <laughs> when they sleep. Where is the Dalmatian? Where's the med Dalmatian? I lost the Dalmatian. That is not my favorite thing. There we are. She found her rock, you guys. <laughs> she has a rock in here, and this is where she lays. <laughs> is it a rock, or is it a hoof? It's a hoof. You stay there. <laughs> Life is good when the Dalmatian is resting. Anyway, welcome to today. I know uh, the last couple of vlogs have been kind of all over the place. We do horses so much. Like, it's everything that we do is horses. We are always riding and going to shows and like everything is about horses. So every once in a while I feel like the need to do something different and I miss my grandkids in the summer a lot because we're always doing horses. So I always wanna take an opportunity when I can to spend time with them. And then once I do, I'm like, oh, take me back to the horses. <laughs> because the horses are less work. <laughs> when I have the grandkids over, it's not even that so much that they're a lot of work, it's almost more that um, it, everything is late, so I end up editing for hours at night and then I don't get to bed till like midnight or later and it just messes up the whole vlog thing. So uh, last night when we got home from the beach, Sam and I, oh, Sam and I cleaned out this field here. There's never much poo in here. They always poop in there, I don't know why. But I like that there are winter fields is pretty clean and pretty dry and they're never standing in like a bunch of mud back here or a bunch of poop and then sam came last night and he cut down a lot of these bushes i'll be able to have to cut these ones down because they're on a hill but he came and he with the lawnmower and he cut them all down it was almost like a forest back here again so this is a big week for us this is the week that storm moves to his new home this is the week that gabby has trillium this is the week that I don't even know what else is in store this week. It's just been gonna be a crazy week. It's gonna be an emotional week. It's gonna be crazy and emotional, and I'm so glad to have you guys here with us. Do you want me to throw that for you? Is that the plan? come down and clean their stalls and help do chores and stuff but after they've slept but I always try and express to you guys what Penny is like and I know a lot of you guys have horses and you understand but Penny Penny is the most patient horse I've ever met and when I bought her she was uh, she did not seem patient she did not seem kind and she is she understands I guess it's that she's smart and patient i guess i don't know what it is she's just smart she understands if i do something two times in a row then she understands the next time i'm about to do it she stands and waits for me she's so patient she waits for all the things i need to do i need to spray her and clean the stuff off of her from her nap and she's so patient and so i guess i feel so much love from her that 
Love changes everything, and I feel so much love from her. Love makes you patient. Love is kind. Love is understanding. Love is, is, love fixes everything, and that's the whole thing of Penny. Penny is love. Penny is the most love, just like Daisy. Daisy is the most love of a dog, and Penny is the most love you can get in a horse. That's the only way I can describe it. I just came out of the house and all three horses were standing there staring at me. It was really creepy. I think they were shocked because it's not the normal time. It's not the normal time for us to leave the house, but you know what? We have no food, so we're going to the grocery store. It's one of the things that happens. Like, you guys do not know how much I've been running. And it might not seem like a lot because you guys don't see the like six hours that I edit at night. Six hours it usually takes me. I'm really excited to ride my boy. Yeah, and we're going to the barns today to see our boy. I haven't seen them in like, this is the third day. I know, it's been so long. Oh, I know, it feels like forever, but it we're going to go. Like it's been a whole year. I know. I didn't show you guys, but the other day I spent like a couple hours in my garden before the grandkids came. Because I had to fix it, Sam did something. I'll have to explain. But anyways, I was bent over for hours, and the backs of the uh, the muscles in my legs are aching. We're gonna try and ride Storm today if we have time. Sophie's already gone. She's so in love with like. You guys know what it's like when your life gets busy and your horses aren't at home and you can't go for a couple of days. You miss them so much and you can't wait to get to them. And we don't know where they are. I think they're all the way in the back. They're either way in the back there or way in the back there. So I also brought a bunch of carrots from our garden Ooh. for Storm. What about Finn? And Finn and all what of them. Him? We're gonna try and bring them, we're gonna try and ride Storm though. And we are riding him on Wednesday. And like, we have plans. It's just, this is why you guys, like, we have to book the arena and so there's other people that come after us so we only have so much time and it makes it really difficult like if we could just come and spend the day and do what we wanted it'd be Hi. easier there's gabby's come on see if he'll come i got carrots come on so finn's figures like i feel like storm has been Summer, he gets very independent he loves to walk come on like so like recently Storm has stopped hanging out with our horses and hardly hangs out with them of course now he's moving and he's with Finn or at least we think he's with Finn he has a best friend here and that's who he hangs out with and I pray to God that it is new home that he finds a friend there that he loves as much as the friend that he has here and it helps look handsome if you come uh oh you can't, oh, he, even he doesn't like my, oh, he does like my carrots. Oh, like Next year I plan to plant so rows of carrots because even if they only turn out like this, our horses like them. Like it's perfect, free treats for our horses. Oh, yeah, Sophie planted the carrots. Maybe only put one seed so they don't get all bunched <laughs> up like this. One seed. <laughs> he was just standing there with his head down. And he saw Sophie and he popped his head up like you would not believe. There's a few, there's only four horses in this field. And Storm is really close to his best friend. That's the hardest. Because he has a best friend here. Oh, and I felt like, I feel like Storm's the kind of horse that doesn't have friends. Oh, Finn. Because I haven't seen you in a long time. I know. Hey, handsome. I know. Look, I said the biggest carrots for you. All for you. Yeah. I love you. This is the first time I've seen Storm since we made the decision. You want to come and I'll spray you with bug spray? He's looking good though. He looks so good. Oh, 
There's not a lot of flies in this field for being like the middle of summer. I mean, there's a few. All right, you coming with us? I didn't bring a halter, but you can come. You wanna come, come for a brush and a spray? You wanna come? Come on. Is he coming? Storm stayed. I love my boy. He came up to me and he said, I love you. It's nice to Mom, see you. Last ride I had with Finn. Oh, he might be coming. Go! <laughs> the last ride I had with Finn was when um, it was with Fiona and it was his bad day. So today's going to be his good day. Today's going to be his good day. He's starting to try and refuse jumps now. And let that be a lesson to all of you guys. Is oh, that... storm's coming. Oh, storm's coming. Let that be a lesson to all of you guys that just because you're having a bad day doesn't mean yeah. that tomorrow won't be a good day. And in fact, Sophie finds that bad days are always followed by good days. So if you're having a bad day, I'm sorry. But just remember that after you go to bed and wake up tomorrow, it'll be a better day, a whole new oh, day. Oh, the horse is trotting. Come save me. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Hi! Wow, look at how nice you're moving! Hello! <laughs> yeah, you know why the horse was trotting? Because Stormy Boy be running behind him, saying you better move. Storm's trying to push Finn. Storm's trying to push Finn. Hey, stop that. Stop that. Good lord. Storm! Oh my goodness, Storm! Oh my goodness. <laughs> You're being a brat. Oh, man. See, all you want is to be a brat. I know, he just wants to be the boss. Okay, we're gonna hide him now. <laughs> I wouldn't go that way. I'd go keep, oh, there's Storm's best friend. Almost run me right over. Oh, he's trying to push Finn now. Now, now we have to wait for that mare. That mare hates us. <laughs> oh, well, why are we waiting for a mare that hates us? So wait, it does not push all right. Finn away. So now the field is empty. Storm has like so much confidence here. He's built his self into this herd and he knows where he's going. He knows what he's doing. He knows who's his friend. He knows who's his enemy. Like, I feel bad for taking him away from his horse. I feel bad about taking away from him away from his horse family or his... <gasps> is that Storm she was being mean to? There's a girl. Oh, he's with his best friend now. He loves that boy. That's his best friend. Now he's pushing his best friend. So the girls have brought some surprises to share with their horses. So that's exciting. I'll show you guys. But the whole storm thing is going to happen this week and you guys are going to be shocked at who cries. <laughs> because if you've never seen a grown man cry before, stay tuned. Coming? We're going. You're supposed to walk in front of us, not behind us. Jeez, don't push me. Oh my God. This is like treacherous trail. Go ahead. <laughs> Storm. Be nice. Get going. Get going. Go ahead. Come on. Come on. Let's go. go. Come on. Let's go. Oh, Come on. He, he, he swerves so he doesn't walk through the horse poop. <laughs> Pushes me out of the way so he doesn't have to walk through horse poop. Never walked the whole field with a horse without a halter on before. Just walking beside me. It's not fun. Come on, I'll spray you down and give you a brush. Come on. Norm is going to have a nap out there and I went and brought him in. Yeah, I'll get you all brushed and scratched. It's his favorite thing, you guys. Favorite. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I know. And I've never seen Storm with such long hair before. It's so weird. Yeah. All right, so let's show them the whole bit situation. Yeah. You know that we're trying to find a good bit for Chino and we're having trouble. Um, so Sophie Gabby tried this, is trying this bit today. So this bit is called the fruit roll-up bit. She bought fruit roll-ups. And it's at home, I haven't washed it yet. It's been crazy, have you not noticed? It's been a crazy weekend. I know I'm gonna wash it tomorrow, tonight. You know, I let all over my face. Yeah, so you got medicine all over your face. You got and your arm. And arm. You got your bit all done. Just tacking up slowly, and I, I want to see what happens when Chino gets the bit with the uh, fruit roll up. And Storm and Finney's getting one too. Storm doesn't like that. But I am gonna give Storm a wash because I try to clean his sheath, and this one loves his sheath clean. And he 
was saying no to me, so it makes me nervous. So I'm just gonna give him a wash and see if there's anything to worry about, okay? Hey guys, we are at the barn. It's um, Sophie's Rotty lesson night, and she's gonna go and get Sparky. Sparky, and she's gonna ride him. And you guys should know that this is the farm that Stormy Boy will be coming to very soon. And I love him in a big field like he has right now, but I should also mention that when he was here, he was always really excited to ride. He would meet us at the gate and, and be wanting to go in. So there are benefits to big fields and and benefits to small fields, I guess. All right, where are you guys going? To the back. Oh, all right. So we have Sparky in here. Sophie said that he ran from her. So Storm will just be at the perfect place. We should put Storm in your field. But you are a big boy, I don't know. And you're gonna be surprised, but I brought you special treats today. As soon as they left, her horse peed. I said they planned it. They said they had to go to the washroom and their horse said, yeah, I should do that too. <laughs> okay, get tacked up. Come on, we gotta go. Get moving, get moving and grooving. Lily's over here screaming the house down because her friend is missing. Here, Lily, look, I got a treat. I got a treat, Lily. Lily, look. Lily. Come on, Lily. Come on, look, I got a treat. <laughs> Lily, look. Lily, look. <laughs> she's, she's not a dumb, not a dumb whore. Good girl. Yeah. Oh, now me friend. Here she comes. Here comes. Yes. She's coming. Don't you know that you're beautiful? Just the way.